Hello. So we have movement kind of on the medical front. I got a call from my gastro. Um, they sent me paperwork for a blood test. I talked about it earlier uh, when, when I found out from my Cigna nurse that all things have to go through her, but apparently uh, my transplant team needs that blood test. So I pulled the paperwork again and I called my Cigna nurse. I called her yesterday about the prescriptions, left a message, didn't hear from her. Um, I called her, left a message today about the blood test, you know, and I gave her the woman for my gastro's phone number. I told her on the message, I won't get the blood test till you tell me to get it. So we'll see how soon I can get this blood test because I'm not doing it if I have to pay for it. Um, because I've seen how much they cost. And I've, I've paid all of my bills except for the big one, which was for the CT scan for 1600 That one I'm going to have to have to figure it out. Um, so, but... Yeah, so that, that blood test needs to get done. It's just, it's, a, it's um, you know, the, it's the same stuff, you know, checking my, my um, liver enzymes, my uh, CBC and platelets and stuff, all that, all the same stuff. They need that, you know, obviously they're going to be checking that probably, I don't know how often. I would think at least monthly, right? Just to see that my liver isn't getting worse. And I was looking at my skin today. I know it's damaged. I know it's bad. I'm going to deal with my skin once all the medical stuff is over. I don't want to mess with anything right now. Anything that could hurt me. Um, but yeah, I don't want to keep this as my face to the world. I want to look better. But I'm sick right now, so I'll just have to like deal with the wrinkles and the, and the weird shit. Sorry, the weird stuff. Um don't like it though as obviously because I keep touching it and keep messing with it I don't like looking at it but it is what it is for right now um it's it's okay so when if slash when I hear back from the nurse I'll probably go on a Saturday I have to do some house sitting in a couple weeks which is fine I don't not have to I get to I get to go to another place and not be here wallowing in it so that'll be okay um and if like you know i'm sure like that would be an okay time to do it on a saturday morning that i'm sure there's the uh, lab course all over the place which is what we use we don't use quest um I'm having a really hard time getting my prescriptions. A really hard time getting anybody to respond to me. But it's okay. This is how it is. And the fact that I'm already on a, a, a transplant team is still positive. I'm still moving, still making progress. I don't think I'm. Not, I'm. I'm not. I think my jaundice is, has not cleared up as much as I wanted it to. I think it was wishful thinking. But I think it is less than it was, but I can still see it, especially, you know, in all the places where it's been the whole time. And, you know, you're, it's, and then here, but it's not as bright yellow. So, you know, I think the, the meds they gave me are starting to work and, you know, I'm, without being gross, one of the ways you get out belly movements by going to the bathroom a lot, and I've been on top of that. I've been on top of everything health related, which is one of the reasons why I'm glad I get to go house it. I mean, I'm still gonna have to be on top of my health, but at least I won't be here. And apparently, it's like just like a short walk to the beach. Well, it, it's it's not a short walk to the beach here. It's down some hills, some fairly steep hills. So that'll be nice to be able to walk to the beach without having to worry about walking back up. Anyhow, that's the only movement for today. Um, I, I guess I'll let you know if anybody calls me back tomorrow. I'm sure these people are all very busy as we move into Christmas. I, I imagine I'm not going to get a lot of things done until after Christmas, which, to be honest, is super fine with me. Um... 
uh, one of the things I need to do, I need, I need to go and get back to work, but one of the things I need to do is I need to get a binder for all of my medical stuff, because right now it's just in a sort of drawer in the living room. I don't know, my meds are out there, so everything's sort of, like, accessible to the people, like, my, my roommate and, and my best friend who are gonna come if I get transplant and take care of me, so that stuff is there for them to find it if they need it, and if I put it in a binder, it's even easier, and, uh, I need to give them access to my chart and uh, probably speak to my signet nurse about uh, HIPAA stuff. But yeah, anyway, that's all going to happen in the future. Uh, today, i got to get back to work. So have a good day, everybody. I'll talk to you soon.